Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three circles uh, with a center O, P and Q respectively. Fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram. Such that the radius uh, of this uh, largest uh, circle is uh, 6 uh, units. And the radius of this uh, smallest uh, circle is uh, 3 units. And furthermore, uh, this side uh, A, B and this side uh, C, D are uh, 9 plus 6 uh, times square root of 6 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius of this uh, green shaded circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's assume the radius uh, of this uh, green shaded uh, circle is uh, lowercase uh, r. And now we are going to find the value of uh, lowercase r. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped these uh, perpendiculars uh, E, F, G, H uh, and J, K that pass through these uh, centers O, P and Q respectively. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder all these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each since these are our uh, radii and uh, these are our tangent lines. And since we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle A, B, C, D, so therefore uh, these angles uh, are going to be 90 degrees uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, small uh, circle. We know that uh, this is the radius of this uh, small circle. So therefore uh, this is going to be the radius of this uh, circle as well. And we know the radius is 3. So therefore this uh, AK length uh, is going to be 3 units. And likewise uh, this uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, largest uh, circle. And we know the radius is 6, so therefore uh, this uh, FP length uh, is going to be 6 uh, units as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, green shaded uh, circle. We know its radius has been labeled as uh, lowercase r. So that means uh, this uh, radius is going to be lowercase r. And likewise this radius is lowercase uh, r as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole... Uh, diameter of this uh, largest uh, circle is 6 plus 6 uh, is going to give us uh, 12 uh, units. So therefore uh, this side length uh, BC is going to be 12 units as well and likewise uh, this uh, AD length is going to be 12 as well. And in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center Q with this center P. As you can see in this uh, next step and in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular MQ on this uh, side uh, GH. And likewise, I have connected uh, these uh, centers O and P as well and dropped a perpendicular uh, NP as well, as you can see. And now let's focus on this segment uh, MQ. I'm going to label this one uh, as uh, length uh, lowercase uh, x. And since uh, this segment uh, MQ is equal to this segment uh, KH, if this segment is X, uh, then this segment has got to be X as well. And likewise, uh, I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, NP as uh, Y. And since uh, this segment uh, NP equals to this segment uh, FH, so therefore if this is Y, then this segment has got to be Y as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AB is equal to the sum of these individual segments uh, 3x, uh, y and uh, 6 uh, as you can see over here. And now let's focus once again on this uh, equation. We know our this uh, side AB length uh, has been given to us as 9 plus 6 times square root of 6. So I'm going to replace that one uh, with 9 plus uh, 6 times square root of uh, 6. And likewise, I have substituted this uh, segment AK length uh, 
as 3 over here as you can see over here and the k h length as uh, x h f length uh, as y and finally f b length uh, as 6 and now we are going to combine the like terms on the right hand side and now we can see this 9 and 9 cancels out so therefore we are ended up with the x uh, plus y equal to 6 uh, times uh, square root of 6 and I'm going to label this one uh, as our equation number 1 and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so therefore uh, the centers uh, P, Q and this point of tangency lie on the very same line and likewise uh, the centers O, P and this point of tangency lie on the very same line as well so therefore uh, this whole length uh, P, Q is going to be R plus 3 so we can write this length uh, as uh, R plus 3 and likewise uh, this uh, side uh, OP is going to be R plus 6 as you can see over here and in this uh, next step we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side uh, MP length we know this whole uh, length uh, GH uh, is same as uh, 12 uh, over here and we know this segment uh, MH uh, length is uh, 3 and this uh, GP length is lowercase r so therefore uh, this uh, MP length is going to be 12 uh, minus 3 minus r so that is going to give us uh, 9 uh, minus r so therefore uh, this segment uh, MP length turns out to be 9 minus uh, r and likewise we are going to calculate this segment uh, O n length we know this uh, radius uh, E O length uh, is uh, 6 and this uh, E n length uh, is same as this uh, G P length which is uh, lowercase r so therefore our this segment uh, O n length turns out to be 6 minus lowercase r and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, M P Q and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, r plus 3 whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and uh, 9 minus r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x square plus uh, 9 minus r whole square equals to r plus 3 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial and likewise we are going to apply this another uh, identity a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square on the right hand side so therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, 81 minus uh, 18 r plus uh, r square equals to r square plus uh, 6 times uh, r plus uh, 9 and now we can see r square and r square they cancel each other out and we are going to move uh, 81 and 18 r on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step let's combine the like terms on the right hand side so therefore x square is going to be equal to 24 r minus 72 I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2 and now we are going to focus uh, another right triangle uh, O and P and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here is our Pythagorean theorem once again in our case uh, our hypotenuse is r plus 6 whereas our two other legs are uh, y and 6 minus r so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, y square plus uh, 6 uh, minus uh, r whole square equal to r plus 6 uh, whole square and now let's recall these uh, two identities once again 
we are going to apply them uh, on uh, these uh, binomials. So therefore, we are going to have y square plus uh, 36 minus 12 times r plus uh, r square is going to be equal to r square plus uh, 12 times r plus uh, 36. Now we can see 36 is gone with this 36 r square cancels out with this uh, r square. And now we are going to move this uh, 12r on the other side. So therefore y square is going to be equal to 24 times r. I'm going to label this one as our equation number 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down uh, equation 1. And now I'm going to take a square on both uh, sides of this uh, equation. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity once again. a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, y square plus 2 times uh, xy is going to be equal to 216. And now let's make an observation. We can see x square uh, is same as uh, this uh, 24 r minus 72 from this equation too. So therefore I'm going to replace this x square by this uh, 24 r minus 72. Likewise let's focus on this uh, y square. We know y square from this equation uh, 3 is uh, 24 times r. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, y square with uh, 24 times uh, r and likewise uh, this x uh, is going to be equal to the square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore x is going to be equal to square root of uh, 24 r uh, minus 72 so therefore uh, i'm going to substitute uh, for x uh, over here square root of 24 uh, r uh, minus 72 and likewise for this y, I'm going to take the square root on this uh, equation 3. So therefore y is going to be equal to square root of uh, 24r. So therefore I'm going to substitute this y with uh, square root of 24 times r. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted uh, all uh, those uh, values. And if we look at uh, this part, uh, we have uh, 24 is in common. So we can write this one as a square root of 24 times uh, r minus uh, 3. And likewise, we are going to combine uh, these uh, like terms as well. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's focus uh, on this part. We can see this uh, 24 times 24 is going to go outside of these uh, radicals. As you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see 2 times 24 is going to give us uh, 48 as you can see in this uh, next step and in this uh, next step I'm going to move uh, all these uh, terms uh, to the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to combine uh, these like terms as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to divide uh, each and every term by 48 this 48 and 48 is gone so therefore we are ended up with the square root of uh, if we distribute this thing that is going to give us uh, r square minus uh, 3r is going to be equal to 6 uh, minus r and now we are going to undo this uh, square root by taking a square uh, on both uh, sides so therefore we are ended up with the r square minus uh, 3 times r equal to and here we can see r square and r square is gone and i'm going to move this uh, 12 r uh, on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore we got uh, 9 times r uh, equal to 36 let's divide both sides by 9 to isolate radius uh, r so therefore uh, our radius r uh, turns out to be 4 uh, units so thus the radius uh, of this green circle turns out to be 4 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.